So we finished when, um, on the last one when I was blocking out um, with very lightly with a pencil a few uh, kind of general shapes that I wanted to continue on this. Um, I'm going to now take my eraser and erase my, um, my real light pencil lines on, on the uh, kind of crosshairs because I don't really need those now that I've, I've kind of mapped out what I want. And you'll notice that I did a little masking while we were away. Um, and so what I did was I looked at my, at my arrangement, my composition, um, and I looked at the places that were, that were white, bright light. Um, and I, there I put some masking tape, I, you, know, you know, some painter's tape. Um, and I also used some crayon in specific, pl specific places where I knew I was going to want to have white paper showing through to show the highlights and get that more three-dimensional quality. Now I'm going to take some more tape and I'm going to tape the edge. I'm just going to cover up my um, staples here. And there's a reason to do this, and, and it makes a lot of sense, is that once you're done, right, you don't want to paint into the staple area because you probably want to cut that off so it looks nice, right? The finished product looks nice. So wherever your staples are, you can kind of cover them over, and it gives, it kind of frames your work in a little more, right? So um, it kind of helps you to, to do your framing. And because this is bigger than my drawing, right, it also helps me to kind of get an idea of where the edge is. Um, and so I'm masking the edges off uh, so I don't paint into that area and the area that I'm gonna have staple holes in and I'm gonna wanna cut or tear off uh, before I do any more. So I just used a pair of scissors to cut a couple pieces of tape here. Um, I used my my little piece of white Crayola crayon. Doesn't have to be Crayola, but that's what I have here um, to, to uh, mask a few spots. Okay, so I'm gonna put those guys aside. And you'll notice I've mixed a few colors here uh, in my palette. So I have some stuff to work with. And I'm going to begin now remember, we're gonna be doing layering. So layering is a real important thing to, concept to get, um, which means that you don't have to put all the paint on at once, right? You can, you're, you're gonna put some layers on. And remember when we did our, our little uh, practice here, right? The layering gives you colors that you're not gonna get in real life. So this is an important thing to remember as you're working because you want to be able to, and you can practice with other colors, right? You can layer with other colors. And that's why you have a little practice sheet that you, get, you keep next to your painting so you can kind of see what stuff might look like, right? So I did a couple trials here while I was mixing my paint to kind of see what, what colors I would get, right? And so I'm going to start. I'm going to start at the top here because I don't want to run my hand over stuff parts I've already done. So I've mixed up some green um, and a little yellowish, yellow green, a little yellow here, and then I've got some brown and some blacks and some different shades there. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to do some leaves, and I want you to remember while I'm doing these leaves, okay, that this is just the first layer. So I'm not, this isn't the final one. I'm not, this isn't fin anywhere near being finished. And I want you guys to get the idea that, you know, paintings aren't necessarily finished in an hour or two. You know, a painting, a good painting might take you 10, 20 hours of doing layers upon layers and, and going back and putting in detail and stuff. So here, um, I'm, I'm just gonna start doing a little bit of leaf work. And you can see I've got um, a little bit of crayon there masking some of the part of the leaves, leaf that's, uh, so, so when, as you see this, you see this is a real simple start, okay? I'm not doing anything um, real fancy here. Okay. And let's see. And
And notice I'm not drawing lines. I'm using my brush to make shapes of color. And so I'm just slowly going over this. You'll notice as I'm working, I kind of, sometimes I, I stop talking and that's because I'm, I'm in my right brain and it's hard to get back into any language when I'm, um, as I'm doing this. As I'm doing this, I see like this leaf over here is much darker. So I'm using, uh, and it doesn't have any light on it. So I'm using a little bit of a darker green there. Um, and so notice I'm not making lines per se, I'm, color, I'm coloring shapes with my brush. Um, and that's just a really important thing to, uh, to remember as you're, um, as you're painting, that you're not making uh, lines, right? You're making shapes, shapes of color. And um, as you're doing it, you're gonna find that it's going to look much better if you don't try to draw lines. Okay, um, you're just doing the shapes of color. So I'm going to be coming back to these leaves that I did um, and putting more more uh, layers of color on. And I notice as I'm looking at my plant here that there's there's some kind of leaves here in the in the back that I that are not there's no light hitting them. Um, and they, one of them looks like it's kind of getting ready to bite the dust. So. And um, then I have, there's some brown going on the stem here. And I've made a little, I've made some, a little bit of brown up. Um, and I have two different shades of brown here. I'm going to kind of do a little bit, a little bit different work here. So let's see, it kind of comes down like this. And then this one kind of goes behind there. do a little bit of touch up here so I got my basic I got the basic and you'll see I'm kind of putting a little bit more color there like where I already went I'm not gonna go over this a bunch but I just want to kind of show what we got here. Okay. So I'm going to come back to these to this these uh, pieces of, of branch here basically um, as soon as I'm going to put this there's one other one here that kind of goes up like this in front of my glass bottle. doesn't really have any leaves on it but it's still there nonetheless so we'll take it a little bit of okay so that's the beginning of what I'm doing here and I, I'm gonna do a little bit more on this on this part here because there's some detail that I want to kind of just uh, map out with my brush a little bit which is gonna be more uh, look a little more um, be able to tell what more what it is as we move forward here so okay so I've got my started out with that and now I'm gonna gonna work on this side a little bit I've got um, I've got some 
kind of really light yellow green here which is the color of my pot and so now here I've masked out some already so here I'm going to put my first layer I notice I'm holding my brush on its side right I'm gonna get a little bit more water and I'm gonna be going over this probably with another layer as well so got this kind of really nice yellow green And I'll be going over this with another layer because this isn't the finished color that I want. And the finished color is not gonna look um, exactly like, like I won't be able to mix that color. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna add a little water in here. We want it to look kind of more natural. So you notice I'm not drawing lines. Right, I'm, I'm painting shapes of color. And this is why the masking in advance is so, so important. And so now, as I'm looking at this, I notice that the back area is a little darker. So as I come around here with the back, kind of darken that up a little bit. because it is darker. So I'm gonna put more detail in on, um, so I'll come back to this because I have to put more detail in on the, on the branches and stuff. Um, so now I'm gonna look at the bottle. So here I am at the bottle and I see that as I look at it, I see that really it's clear glass. So I'm only seeing some reflections. And I'm seeing a little reflection of the brown up here um, from the branch that's above it. So I've got this little bit of brown kind of reflected there. I'm just gonna make that shape. So what I'm basically doing, you guys, is I'm making the shape of color that I see. And that's it. I'm not doing anything else. So I see that color. And then I see there's a little, another little reflection there. Kind of the same, same kind of little brown. And then there's a lighter color up above. And it's very, it's so, it's just so, uh, it's such a small amount. It, it's just a little bit right here, kind of, and that's even too, it, that's too dark. So you have to have your your uh, your rag ready to blot out if it get if it's too much. So say I didn't put like a little too much there. There, I'm just making kind of a little daub of color there. Not much because I don't want it to. I don't want to ruin it. I can go over it. I can always go over it again to make it darker. Okay. I can't. It's difficult to get it to to. Um, to uh, make it, uh, to get it light if you've made it too dark, right? So now I have on the lip here of this, where the beginning of the bottle is, or the bottom of the stopper maybe, I should say, um, I see that there's a little kind of brown reflection just right there. I'm just making a little daub of that. It's in the shape that it is. Right, I'm just going to leave it to dry, um, and then I see that there's a little bit underneath of that, so I'm going to make a little, make that little, um, that little color there as well. And then as I look down the bottle, I can see that there's also a little bit of brown here. So I'm just going to drag my brush carefully down. Kind of right next to this it's not very dark um, so i'm not making a real dark mark there um, but there is a portion that is kind of dark so i'm going to go back and just put a little bit more right here just let it kind of go into the mark i already made 
Okay. Don't want to do, you, go, you don't want to overdo it. Remember I said less is more? Well, you guys, definitely less is more. If you overdo it, it's going to look funky. Okay. So you want to make sure that you, that you keep up with what, you know, keep true to what you're doing. So I have a little bit more, and it's just a little different color than the, so I'm just going to use some of the color that's in my water, right? That's not even, um, there we go. Just a little, little bit of color there. And really, you guys, if what you want to know is, is that when you're doing glass, you're, you see through glass, so you're seeing what's behind the glass, and it's usually a little bit distorted. So when you look behind and you see the distortion, that's what you're painting. You're painting what's behind the glass a little bit distorted. So clear glass, you're just seeing what's behind it. That's it, right? And I started off with some weird like piece things on my paper. Who cares? It, it'll it'll people will think it's just the background, right? It's just something from the background. Um, so now I see you can see it's a little darker in here, and I like how that's looking. Um, but it's a little. I need a little bit more darkness right there, and I want to do it while it's still wet because I want to have it kind of have this kind of blend look. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of darker green there and it's gonna blend in with what I got. It's a little bit of the shadow. And I'm gonna get a little bit of water on that again so it's, it doesn't look like, just like random lines. I want it to kind of blend with what I'm doing here. So normally I'd let it dry a little bit before I did that, but I wanted to, I really wanted to get that in there so it didn't look too, um, too funky. Okay, so this is just the beginning of this, you guys. I'm going to have to wait for it to dry to add a lot more detail, but I am going to put a little bit of the camera in. Um, so I have, you know, I, I'm painting a camera. The camera is, is black and, um, and chrome, I guess you would say. So I'm going to use some black, but I'm going to be really, really careful not to make it too dark. Remember, I can always make it darker. I can't make it lighter. So you notice that I'm um, putting a lot of water with this black, and it's in with some other color. So it's not quite pure black, which is good for, for what we're doing, because almost nothing is pure black, believe me. Um, so I'm just going to kind of block this in a little bit we're just gonna do the firm just gonna do the first layer and remember when you're doing this you want to try to keep the same point of view so notice once again I'm making shapes of color so I'm just looking at the color I'm seeing which right now is black, mostly black, and I'm just making some shapes of black on my paper. So I'm blocking it out. So starting off with one side of the camera, I've got like kind of a little, there we go, a little kind of square black part. Um, and then over here, I've got the part of the strap. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of the strap here. Not quite touching the. And I'm just look. I'm looking directly at what I'm painting. So the strap goes down underneath there. And it kind of pops up here. curve in it so I'm looking I'm literally looking at the shapes as, as opposed to trying to make lines so I'm looking at the shapes that I'm that I'm that I'm painting um, and that is what 
really makes it look cool, right? Is that, is that I'm actually following some shapes that I have here. And then I look over here, I can see that it's darker down here. I'm gonna just go for a little bit of darker look here. But I can, I can come back and do more. I have to wait for some of this to dry in order to really come back to it. So you'll notice that I'm kind of being careful not to overlap my darker color with this lighter color, right? Or lighter, lighter gray. Okay, so these are just the shapes that I'm seeing. Um, and so here's another shape. And then up here, I've got the, the top of the camera. Um, I'm just gonna block that in just a little bit. And you know, we don't wanna worry too much whether it looks perfect or not, you guys. Um, that's one of those things, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect, okay? Um, when, you're, when you're doing these projects like this, enjoy the moment, enjoy the fun of just making these little shapes of color. And don't stress too much about, <clears throat> about uh, whether it's perfect or not, okay? And Where's my crayon? I noticed that the name of the camera right here, it says Minolta, and I'm gonna kind of write it in a little bit just so before I do this. Okay. It's not gonna look exactly like Minolta, but it's gonna leave a little bit of white there so that when I do this, it'll it'll look more natural, okay? So here, I've got those shapes. And you know, you can block off, you can literally, um, you know, block off with tape, just like I did to make perfect lines. And that's fine to do. Okay, so I'm, I've got a pretty good start on my camera here. Um, I've got this, these lines going back. There's another black line right there. Kind of this, this shape of color that I can see. Okay. Um, I'll do a little bit more and then we'll take a break because I'm going to need to let it dry before I do any more work on it. Okay, and this is this is so important, you guys. I just can't even reiterate enough how important it is to make sure that you are to make sure that you are giving yourself time or giving your painting time to dry before you move forward. Okay. So that is about what I can do right this moment. Um, if I do any more, I'm, I'm gonna risk contaminating my colors. I have to wait for it to dry for me to move forward with this. Um, so I'm gonna leave it to sit for a few minutes and we'll take a break and I'll come back and we'll do part three of this lecture. <laughs> 